Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Case Tech, where we do everything techie. Now, as a follow-up from my last video on how to split large PS3 files so they can be copied into a FAT32 hard drive, I did promise I was going to show you how to copy the games into your internal hard drive, that is, into your games hard drive. Because you know these external hard drives are not very trustworthy. You might they might just fall and crash and that's it, you lose your games. So it's always best to have these games copied into your internal hard drive where at least safety is a little bit more assured. So um I already have my PS3 fired up. As you can see, that's my console, the hard drive is there. So I'm just gonna show you how to copy into your internal hard drive, and that's all we're doing for today. So we're just gonna enable hen first before we go on to do other things or go on to show you other things what else to do so like i said if you don't know how to have hen installed into your game just send in your video request okay and i'll do that for you all right now having enabled hen we're gonna go to multi-man open up multi-man and um wait for it All right, Multimint loaded. You can see the game. Ha! Ah, Red Dead Split. You can see Red Dead USB and Split. All right, it's uh, let's go a little closer so you can see it more better. You can see it better. Remember, we did split our games the other time, right? You see the first icon there under the name Red Dead Redemption. You see a joystick. Next, you see USB telling you it's, it's on your internal or external hard drive, bay pattern. And then next, you see split because we had to split the game to be able to uh, copy it into our FAT32 drive. So, to copy this game from your USB into your internal drive, you, you're you not going to file it up here. You just uh, go down to File Manager, open your File Manager, go to PS3 Root. Go double click on PS3 root, then go to USB dev USB 001. And when you enter, go to games. Of course, this is my hard drive. You remember how we navigated my hard drive the other time? That's it, Red Dead Redemption. So you have to, what you do right now is on Red Dead Redemption, you click circle or zero and you copy by clicking X. You can see clipboard one entry is added you can just do your arrow back button all right your arrow back button on your direction to take you back or you can simply come down up here and click on this far this empty far here all right still takes you back all right so i like to use arrow button it's quite easy just arrow button arrow button arrow button and you are out then you go to hdd0 dev hdd0 that's your internal hard drive of course again double click to open and go into games double click to open you see those are the games I have already in my internal hard drive you saw them on the list of games now click zero again and click paste it tells you do you want to copy the selected folders yes and wait for it All right, this is gonna take a while, so we might just have to cut and come back when it's almost done, okay? So we can save time and data as usual. All right. We are at 85 percent now just give it some more time it's gonna be done soon thank you for your patience
Okay, and we are approaching the end of the copying process. It's ninety-seven percent now. Ninety-eight. And come on, come on, come on. Ninety-nine. And that's it. So once it's done copying, you can see that on your list of games you have it there. Red Dead Redemption. So you just go back or oh, just close, alright? And then go to games. Of course, double click. And then let's look at it. Now when you come to Red Dead Redemption, you still see we have USB, sleep, and HDD. Alright? So that tells you it's already installed in your game's hard drive okay so there you have it that's how you copy your game from your external hard drive to your internal hard drive all right once again thank you for watching we urge you to like and subscribe to our channel please and always remember that you can make your video request all right whatever you want to learn how to do just place a request in the comment section and we are going to make a video for you Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on our next video. Bye-bye.